What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Just a quick reminder as I've said before, at 250k we'll be giving away another Infinity War Hot Toy figure, so be sure to enter that while there's still time. Again, you will be able to pick which figure you get this time in the giveaway. But back to the topic of the video. Today, I want to talk about something that's been highly debated over Avengers Endgame. That being, how exactly does time travel work in Avengers Endgame and the universe and rules that it sets up? If you've only seen Avengers Endgame once or twice, the rules of time travel can be a little bit muddled, and there even seems to be some difference of opinions on exactly how time travel works in the MCU from the screenwriters of Endgame to the director. But today, we're going to take both groups and explain exactly how time travel works as posed to us in Endgame. First off, let's start with the directors, and how in their minds time travel works in the MCU. Quote, if you go back in the past, you are simply creating a new reality. The characters in this movie created new timelines when they went back to the past, but it had no effect to the prime universe. What happened in the past 22 movies was still canon and still very much happened. So according to this explanation, again, when they go back in time, they simply create new timelines. They're not actually going back to the same time. That's why he says at the end of his statement that everything that happened in the other MCU movies is still completely canon and still happen. The moment you go back in time, you're not going exactly back in time to the same reality that you were in before. You've simply created a brand new one. So if you think about it, the Quantum Realm and the Quantum Realm machine that they use in Avengers Endgame is more of a reality warping machine than a time travel one, which is extremely interesting. This is why, of course, when Thanos is eventually defeated in his 2014 version, the Thanos from the past that actually enacted the snap still existed. Stuff that the Avengers actually do back in time doesn't really affect their future. So for example, if the Avengers plan was to go back in time and kill Thanos as Rhodey suggested earlier in the movie, it would do nothing. It would simply create a brand new alternate timeline, not fix there. As for the screenwriters and writers of Avengers Endgame, this is what they had to say about time travel and how at the end of the movie, Captain America and the Avengers plan to stop the alternate realities actually makes sense. Quote, we are not experts on time travel, but the ancient one specifically states that when you take an infinity stone out of a timeline, it creates a new timeline entirely. So Steve going back and just being there would not create a new timeline, so I reject that Steve is in an alternate reality theory. I do believe that there is a simple period in world history from about 48 to now where there are two Steve Rogers, but that for a large portion of that timeline, one of them is frozen in ice, so it's not like they'd be running into each other. As you guys can tell here though, some inconsistencies are forming. The way the screen writers dictated if a new timeline is formed is if an infinity stone is actually removed from that timeline. Basically, they mean that they believe Captain America was able to go back to the same timeline, and that again for some time there were two Captain Americas running around. Not that simply going back in time creates a new timeline. As for which explanation I agree with more, I actually agree more with the Russo brothers' explanation, that simply going back in time doesn't go back in time in itself, but create a new reality entirely. And I've said this before, but I'll go over it one more time. The reason in my mind, and in my opinion, the old Captain America was able to be in the main timeline was because the two timelines created were so similar, and eventually the two timelines converge, with the old Captain America being allowed to be in the same timeline that he eventually exited. But again guys, the Russo brothers have said that there's a massive story there with Captain America that they would one day like to explore in one final telling of a story with Cap. But what are your guys thoughts on this, and this official explanation from both the screenwriter writers and the Russo brothers on how time travel works in the MCU, and which explanation do you actually agree with more? Again guys, don't forget to enter the giveaway, the rules are as follows. To enter, all you have to do is like our video, subscribe, turn on notifications, and tell me in the comments below what your favorite moment was in Endgame. Thank you guys as always so much for watching, hit that subscribe button to assemble and join our team, and have a great day.